Do we always choose what's good for us? If I was to hold out two plates, in one I have a pile of steamed kale. It's really good for you. And what I've done, I've dusted it with a bit of sea salt and some lovely seaweed seasoning. And in the other hand, I've got a ball of chocolate. Now, there's a catch. On the inside of that ball of chocolate, there's dog food. If I held out those two plates, which one would you choose? Well, I've got a theory. I think most people will go for the dog food. They go for the chocolate ball because they wouldn't really believe that inside that beautifully looking chocolate is dog food. Let me give you some examples of chocolate covered dog food. You get a real estate agent in to appraise your home. You're thinking of selling. You get three agents and you say to them, don't lie to me, tell me the truth. I really want to know what my property is worth. I won't be flattered. I can take the truth. And so it starts. And you're going to end up with one agent that tells you more than the other two. And you are going to be drawn to that agent because you're going to want that agent to be telling the truth. You're going to want what that agent is saying to be the truth. That agent says, I believe in your property. It's worth insert dream price any day. And you want to believe them. And the agent that took you at your word when you said you didn't want to be flattered, they're the ones saying, please, please don't take the chocolate covered dog food, please. You want the truth? You can't handle the truth. The honest agent, they're driving a Camry. And the one who told you what you said you didn't want to hear, but you really did want to hear, they're driving the Maserati. And they're the ones getting all the ratings on Rate My Agent because they're the ones getting all the listings. Because my friends, people prefer chocolate covered dog food to a plate of healthy kale. And here's another example of some chocolate covered dog food. The property investment company that tells you that you can get high yielding assets that also deliver high capital growth. Hmm, well, they have discovered the holy grail, right? I'm telling you on the inside of that chocolate is dog food. It's not even mathematically possible because yield is a function of the property's value. And as the value goes up, unless the rents keep pace, the yield is gonna go down. Plus, high yield equals high risk, whereas capital growth is a low risk strategy. But high yield, high capital growth, holy grail, that appeals to people who prefer chocolate covered dog food over kale. Hoping it's not really dog food on the inside is not a strategy. And here's another example of chocolate covered dog food. The buyer's agent that promised you access to that secret market, all of those juicy little off market morsels that nobody else has got access to, that only they have and only you're gonna get if you sign up with them. Sure, some deals are off market. More commonly though, off market properties are overpriced with very unmotivated vendors. And their aim is to get that owner to have a more realistic price expectation and then run a proper marketing campaign. Or the off market could be the result of a cozy little deal between some some buyers agents and some sales agents. I've had sales agents tell me how they pass their low grade off markets to certain buyers agents who I quote, are not fussy and their clients are happy to pay for off markets. So any buyers agent bragging about buying a high proportion of off market properties may as well add that their value proposition is, I help my clients overpay so that they can feel really good about buying something exclusive. Short termism is on the rise. Everywhere you look, somebody's looking for a quick buck or a shortcut to something that has traditionally taken a long time to achieve. And this is why people fall for these bullshit marketing messages, because they really don't want to do the work to make better decisions. Kale is good for you, and you can dress it up with some nice seasoning and perhaps a bit of flavored oil. But once you bite through the chocolate, dog food tastes like dog food. Take the kale. I'm all for more truth, transparency, and trust in the property industry. And if you'd like to find out more about what I've been working on to help people make better property decisions, then check out my website, veronicamorgan.com.au.